Welcome to Spiritual Dessert Shoes for Russell Brand and other people, episode 161. Today's is about the science of yoga and stress. What does bending your body into yoga poses do to your brain chemistry and nerve connections? Uh, it seems that there are two functional parts of the brain that play a key role in stress. And these serve the functions of emotion and cognitive function. So we're calling them emotional brain, which is the amygdala and other parts of the emotional prefrontal cortex and the logical portion of the brain, the parts of the prefrontal cortex and parts of the cingulate cortex and parts of the hippocampus. The emotional brain is able to initiate a stress response via the sympathetic nervous system, which culminates in adrenaline and cortisol racing through your circulation. The logical brain is always trying to turn off this stress response and in so doing tries to retrain the emotional brain. The stronger our logical brain, the better it becomes at doing these things. When the stress response is turned off, our parasympathetic nervous system signal is turned on. This signal relaxes the body so a strong logical brain goes hand in hand with relaxation. The stress response and relaxing signals travel through the body along a particular route and parts of this route have little switches which we can physically manipulate to turn the signals on or off. The neck is the example of where there is such a switch that's located near the carotid artery. So training the stress circuit. Yoga is training the entire stress circuit at two levels. First, Every time we're holding a posture, staying very still to concentrate or trying to balance, our logical brain is being activated. When we're bending forwards, our relaxation signal is being turned on through the switches in the neck. So bending forwards and concentrating at the same time is triggering both the logical brain and the relaxation signal at the same time. Bending backwards triggers the stress response signal through the switches in our neck. Contracting a muscle also triggers the stress response signal. So when we bend backwards and contract our muscles, we still have to stay still and concentrate on balancing. Our logical brain is given an extra challenge. It has to overcome the stress response signal bending triggered in these two ways before we can be still and concentrate during a posture. Extra resistance is the logical brain having to work against and it trains the brain like a muscle. Rewiring the nerve connections. At the end of a series of yoga postures, the logical brain has a workout. It's buzzing with activity and you feel mentally calm as it is keeping your emotional brain quiet. Training the logical brain in this way for a long time can result in a rewiring of the nerve connections within the logical brain. New circuitry that enables you to find it easier to control your thoughts is formed. You may find it easier to channel your thoughts in the direction you want and not dwell on negative thoughts or experiences. This is partly why yoga seems to have a positive effect on depression and anxiety, where sufferers have a tendency to dwell on negative life events. Stronger connections within the logical brain keeps the lid down on the emotional brain and the stress response. This is why yoga can be so effective at battling stress. The key thing is to attempt yoga postures, which are structured in a well-formulated sequence where each posture involves a long hold. Then your yoga and your stress begin to get balanced. So behind me, I have this wonderful hat. <laughs> it is my Genghis Khan hat, which I wore all day after the museum, during the museum, all over the place. I ran around saying hilarious things like, obey me or else. <laughs> he, he was a dictator, but for some reason, I don't know, he had loyalty. He, he organized all the Mongols. So everybody running around with no home, no meds. He gathered them together and made an army <laughs> and took over like a better portion of the world. Amazing. So in the meantime, trying not to be stressed trying not to feel anxiety. We went to see the movie last night, Amy, and my, my friend's brother passed of an overdose of heroin, and that was just last year. So we've been entertaining a, a little nephew who is eight, and 
he's aware of what happened. He says, my daddy's in heaven. He knows that his dad's happier. His dad was not happy. So there's a lot to it, but it hit hard. Oh, it did hit really hard. Um, we don't have any history of drug abuse and my family, pretty mild people. <laughs> I just, I'm content with some yoga. I, I, I don't think I ever really drank much, even when I was uh, a teenager, but it's because I started early. Uh, I started when I was 11, and I'm really grateful that the right people got a hold of me. And it seemed to make a lot of sense not to throw my life away at 11, but I was trying. <laughs> I was really trying. I guess what's important is to remember that you look at an 8-year-old, you look at an 11-year-old, you look at a 12-year-old, just picture yourself at that age and maybe feel what they felt feel what you felt and realize that maybe they're not showing all that they feel but they're feeling it so take care of them take care and nurture them especially if you're their parent but if you're not their parent you could be an aunt you could be a surrogate aunt he likes to call me his mom <laughs> I'm not his mom but any mom who's crazy enough to run around wearing a Genghis Khan hat I don't know <laughs> I like me, but it's funny. He said, I told the guy that, the guard, and then he told some guy at another location, we, we walked around, he said, that's my mom. <laughs> Not his mom. But I think it's really flattering. You should try to be like a surrogate mom to kids. Um, I only see him a couple times a year <laughs> to entertain him, but uh, do your best to bring the light wherever you go. On that positive note, thank you, Rusty, for this beautiful writing, beautiful tribute to Amy Winehouse, and the beautiful movie that really reveals in a very raw way who she was. Amazing jazz singer. Just ask Tony Bennett. <laughs> That's actually what got my friend crying really bad. Tony Bennett! God bless you. <laughs> what you said about her touched our hearts. And what you said about her touched our hearts, Rusty. So, thanks. Hopefully it changes people's lives by revealing these stories. Love you. <laughs>